in a pre-release. Visitation at USP Marion suspended. All federal prisons in lockdown after deadly fight in Texas facility February 2, 2022 Federal prisons were placed on a temporary lockdown nationwide Monday after it popped off and broke out at an institution in Texas and two inmates died. According to Federal Bureau of Prisons site, USP Marion, a medium security penitentiary in Williamson County, has suspended all visitation until further notice. Former federal prison official and factory manager at USP Marion sentenced to prison Benton, ill. Shawnee White Cutton, 50, of Heron, Illinois, was sentenced to 16 months confinement today, consisting of 8 months in federal prison and 8 months of home confinement after his release. At his sentencing, United States District Court Judge Stacey M. Yandel agreed with Federal prosecutors that White Cutton knowingly obtained thousands of dollars by abusing his management position at the federal penitentiary at Marion, Illinois, USP Marion, lied about it, and then obstructed justice while trying to cover up his scheme. A federal prison guard in Illinois has been caught in an FBI sting targeting those seeking to have sex with minors, charging documents Sayer. Wife Mattis Hell Christopher David Emery was charged by complaint in U.S. District Court in Benton, Illinois, with the felony, attempted enticement of a minor. R. Kelly S. Emery met an undercover FBI employee online last week, the charges say, and eventually told her that he is 48 and works for the federal penitentiary in Marion, Illinois. The FBI employee listed her age online as 18 but told Emery, that she was actually 14, charging documents show. After initially balking and raising concerns about being caught by police, Emery on Monday showed up at the purported Dean's house in Williamson County, and told FBI agents he was planning to mess around with her while her parents were out of town, charging documents show. Has fucked. In October 22, 1983, inmates aligned with the Aryan Brotherhood. Prison gang murdered two corrections officers at the United States Penitentiary near Marion, Ill. The reverberations from those killings are still being felt in the American prison system. The murders sent Marion into lockdown for 23 years, ushered in the era of the modern supermax prison, and normalized the real idea that the only rational way to deal with violent or notorious prisoners is to lock them up in small, isolated cells and throw away the key. 1983 Marion was the toughest penitentiary in the federal prison system. Cadillac Black. The United States whose members are from Washington D.C. they are allied with the Black Guerrilla family and some other black prison gangs. The Aryan Brotherhood is one of their main rivals. 1. The D.C. Blacks make up one of the largest single ethnic groups in the overall federal prison population by 10 percent. 2. They are known for being maleducated in violence, improvised prison weapons, petty theft, and rape from their time spent at Lorton, a D.C. penitentiary. Although the D.C. blacks are one of the largest prison gangs within penitentiaries, they are small compared to the gangs outside of the prison system, such as the Bloods and the Crips. Just some info the maximum security complex housed some of the country's most violent inmates and the worst of those were put in Marion's control unit. Getting placed in the control unit was akin to being buried alive. Inmates were confined to their small cells for almost 23 hours a day. When they left their cells, they were shackled, guarded, and under constant surveillance. The conditions there echoed the commandant's line in the great escape, we have, in effect, put all our rotten eggs in one basket. And we intend to watch that basket very carefully. Thomas Silverstein and Clayton Fountain were two of those prisoners who bore watching. In 1981 Silverstein and Fountain were charged with killing a black inmate named Robert Chappelle in the Marion Control Unit. They allegedly strangled him in his cell during an exercise period, as an encore. Silverstein and Fountain killed Raymond Cattle X. Smith, a friend of Chappelle's who had sought to avenge his death. According to former Washington Post reporter Pete Early, the two men stabbed Smith 67 times and then dragged his body up and down the prison tier so that other prisoners, still locked in their cells, could see the bloody corpse.
In the wake of these murders, Silverstein thought he was being unduly harassed by Marion Corrections officers, especially a guard named Merle Klutz. As Early wrote, Silverstein became obsessed with Klutz and spent months plotting his murder.